<laughs> now. Now, <sighs> now that we've given ample time to, well, relax and drink everything in. I don't know, hard choice of words for a vampire game. But <laughs> it is what it is. By using, uh, using autophage ability, drinking human blood or resting. Obvious. Everything is in order. Let's go. Shit.
sorry. Just had to send that out. Ah, I do have someone watching. I checked the chat and I had everything fixed, so, um, it works. If you want to, uh, yeah. It's locked, all right. Damn. It's locked. <sighs> People. My f my controller keeps messing up. Hold on while I fix that real quick. Sorry, I had to switch to a different controller. Anyway, I'm back. You can type in the chat. Or you can, if you have me on Facebook and the chat isn't working, you can always mess me on, message me on Facebook. While I'm, yeah. Oh, okay, it does work. Sometimes the chat doesn't work, so. You know, and I can't really tell who's watching until they, you know, until they chat. It's locked. So. And I literally rolled out of bed and the call was over so um, yeah I jumped on and produced the second episode Who's this? Dama Howcroft Ugh. I've already talked I've already talked to her uh, I know what the fuck I thought I talked to you Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. No. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Probably Waverly Ackroyd. My wife, I Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Ackroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Really? Overrated dabblers? If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course you can't say the same about me. Since I have not wasted my time caught in the press. Really? There is no need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Wow. Okay. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Hmm. You exactly laugh what are from you the talking stream. About? We're here to save lives. Why? The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. Oh, I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, it's and okay. they're here to protect our patients. I was patients. just wondering what happened. <clears throat> Tell me, Waverly, 
What do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Hmm. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Hmm. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. What do you want for the choice? In a rat? Which of the three? I trust your judgment, your consequences, you will assume, or it's a conservative point of view. I'm leaning more between these two. Which do you prefer? This one? If you are going okay. to lead this surgery, I'm trusting you to assume <clears throat> the consequences of your actions, whatever the result. I'm not the kind of man who runs away from his responsibilities, Dr. Reed. Hmm. There is no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. We went down that path, so let's go down this path. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, <clears throat> I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Aykroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Wow. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. Facing reality? It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, <laughs> Dr. Ackroyd. Sorry, this is the, this is the second episode. Um, uh, the first episode was almost two hours long. It was just last night um but uh yeah he's a doctor you for your time. and we'll talk later a, a military he was a military surgeon and he woke up after returning home to london and found himself a vampire And, yeah, it would be best to watch the first one after. Um, <laughs> it is a very interesting game. Dr. Theo Strickland. I need to get through there, you cock monkey. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. <clears throat> Can I be of any help? No. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I need to get to the supply. Thank you. You. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. No, and good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Don't want Can I be of any help? Strickland. Get Goodbye, the hell out Dr. Of Strickland. Get out of here. Where'd he go? Where'd the guy go? Right here. Ha. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. 
Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Your condition. <coughs> Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Hmm. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my what family. Happened? I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness. But you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other <laughs> circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. <laughs> At least tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Hmm. Good point. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Ooh. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. <clears throat> what an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Ooh, that's bad. This you is can't during hold World yourself War responsible World for your II, injury, Mr. No. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt One. yourself. Sorry. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. <laughs> 1915. I was yep. in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing yes. my dinner when the bombs fell. It's like the vampire's way of truth serum. He's using his powers of manipulation and uh, mind control to completely just open up their their mind and their heart, to be honest. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. The truth is, I have no idea. Ooh. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Good point. I need a third hint. God damn it. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fitt. <clears throat> I'll see you later. I'll come back to him. So many. Injuries. I will not let you down, my boy. Look at all the blood-stained blankets. Jesus. Still more coming. <sighs> There's literally just trails of blood on the floor. Yeah. Who are you? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. Oh. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, no, we haven't. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Pippa. Jonathan Reed. Mm. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. Staff? We are running out of everything. Oof. I hate indecisiveness. <sighs> help me, help me. 
Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? <laughs> what if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, Nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. It's not just the epidemic. How long you have, have you been a nurse? Or long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Ouch. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. <laughs> How is the I wonder how Nurse staff Brannigan always stays the happy. Well, not well. He's a big ball Milton of Milton the sun. ambulance driver is even more grumpy than usual, <laughs> especially concerning doctors. Oof. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Hmm. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Yeah, I know. I talked to Milton in the first episode. I've already went down that one. Okay. Personal question. Oh, a hint required. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Let's get out of here. Are you inside or outside? Inside. Okay. God damn it. Thelma Howcroft. Thomas Elwood. It's locked, all right. But there's a patient inside. Why? But why, though? There's a patient inside. Isn't it wrong to lock your patients away? In a room? With no help? Hmm. Must be something wrong. Cornyn Tippetts, uh, Gwyneth Branigan. Where the hell is Milton? Ooh, investigate citizen of actions. Where? William Bishop's blood at the workbench. All right, take your time. Do what you need to do. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Ooh. Mortimer Goswick. Hmm. Mortimer Goswick. I'll talk to you in a minute, Milton. I've got to find Mortimer, Mortimer Goswick. Like the resources, but we have the Mortimer Goswick. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? 
I've heard much of your talents as a physician. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's hmm. all that matters. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Hmm. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. Hmm. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Hmm. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Hmm. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. Hmm. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. And yes, back then, suicide was a crime. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. The NSA. <laughs> Hmm, I've got a new listener. Yes, I am. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Why is it then... Back. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. <clears throat> Is your mother bothering you? 
As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. <laughs> but you have no idea what my mother is capable of. Ooh. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? Mm -hmm. So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. Never mind. Don't waste your time with me. Hmm. Good evening, Doctor. How are you doing? Hint required. God, goodbye, damn it. Mrs. Goswick. Doctor. Hmm. Ackroyd. Crane. Strickland. You. I need to find who you are. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, <coughs> sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Hmm, good point. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Ooh, that is a hold point of interest. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. <clears throat> Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Hmm. 
Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, huh, welcome back, baby. I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes. But the good news is, we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. Not all of us. Not all so of you're us. ready to die? No, I'm not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Very Dr. Wise. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think mm. otherwise. Humble as well. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. But I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Really? What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Good point. Let's see what you Please got. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Codeine, <clears throat> opium. Formula? Hmm. I need that. It needs to be analyzed. I want that. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. Train terminal. Hmm. It's locked. I'm sorry, honey. As soon as this episode's over, I'll call you back. Okay? <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Ooh. Stealing from the dead. Huh. I love you too, honey. Hmm. I can't read that. Oh well. Oh wait. Uh, no, no. Wait. Uh, no. Ah, here it is. No. Finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing now except getting better, for I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors and they told me that this Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. <laughs> he may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry, I refuse to pay first. I realize now that the important thing is that you'll get better soon. Pembroke Hospital is a good place, I heard, despite the bad behavior of this Milton hoax. I promise you that everything is okay now. I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as possible. With the fondest love, Nicholas. Oof. Well, I don't mind. I plan on finishing this episode, so please, do what you want. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I love you.
Dr. Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you in the second floor. Please forgive the uh, a distorted decoration with Hember. <laughs> but uh, Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I, I'm just a mere mortal after all. I also gave orders to let you rest, for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice that there is an open window with scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I'm. I imagine how awful, awfully new and disturbing all this must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough to know your species, uh, enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. I oh, know that you're not facing, uh, you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These are dark times we are presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to the Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of my notes concerning what I have discovered about Ekin in this last few years. Feel free to read about it. If you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. <laughs> Article on Ekans. It is a rare opportunity and most on almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and physiological traits with scientific and rational eye. Mm. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampire or Ekin as they prefer to call themselves. Super supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but the trained eye will spot that they have keen senses and can react quicker than any mortal on a, on a few occasions alarm surprise necessity to flee I have seen a vampire move so quickly it's almost as if they had vanished to reappear Mike what's up uh, let me finish reading this uh, uh, where was I uh, ah uh, they vanished to reappear somewhere else. The, tele the teleport or the de dematerialization is only a supernatural speed. Not much playing vampire. You just missed my girlfriend in the chat, so. Uh, uh, is only supernatural speed for me it is a cat-like attribute which allows them to run dodge or jump longer and faster than us I also notice that s such speeds seems to exhaust them and that they are only they are they are bound to physical limitations mesmerism one of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity And out of my room. I couldn't close the door. <laughs> That's what cats do, bro. That's what cats do. Uh, Force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the uh, the mortal ability to alter a subject's mind, mental state. 
A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as if the vampire could literally fracture a target's psyche. And now he's on my line. Aww. Well, that's what cats do. Um, as soon as this episode is over, I'm going to call my girlfriend and we'll get on some GTA. If that's good for you. Unless you're still at church. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, that's right. Marshall's there. So, of course you're not at church. I'm an idiot. I am very, very half asleep. Sorry. I literally just woke up. I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me. Uh, I wasn't thinking. As if the vampire could... The same vampire explained to me that this ability requires time to master and the result could vary widely from one subject to another, Impor implant a false memory, erase a painful one. The possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. I'm not reading all that crap. Bloody diary. Are you read it? Shelter key. The key of the shelter in South. No, South Wark. Hmm. Hint now available. Really. I have to find him. <laughs> All cats usually are. Mm. Well, I know. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, Doctor. <clears throat> Still trying to save lives. Uh, personal questions. You to Tell me you why know. you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. So only then I realized I could make a fortune. Hmm. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation not among your colleagues, scam. Milton? Fuck them. Okay, yes. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Ouch. Okay. Good point. Uh, I'd trade. like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable mm -hmm. gun is what everybody needs these days. Oh, someone else is watching as well. I don't have the money. God damn it. Okay. Um, not much. What? Huh? OT work? Yeah, of course it worked. Now, X trade. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already went through this. I'd like mm -hmm. to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A Come reliable on. gun is what everybody needs these days. 
I, this is a very slow paced, uh, very slow paced game. When it, I need to find a way to the back. Well, I mean, I'm still drained for some reason. Well, I mean, it happens to the best of us. Oh, that's what it is. It's just a light. I kept wondering what the hell was shining. Skull voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Ah. Skulls. Ow! Dick! Ow! Cock monkey! Come here, you little fuck! Dick! Huh. Lead stick. Scow. Get off of me! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. You're dead. Uh, as soon as this episode is done. Photograph in a wallet. Ah! Milton. So Milton's wallet. Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. <laughs> okay, that must be the hint we're waiting for. Bullets? Okay. Aww, that's adorable. You got your own little purring phone stand. and screws yours Milton I found your wallet Peppa Hawkins ooh good evening nurse Hawkins good evening dr. Reid personal question dad Ooh, I hear a dirt bike outside. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true. Yelp. Milton, I found your wallet. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money, and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Yeah, true. Personal questions. Okay. Ooh, I got two hints out of that. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, 
I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. <laughs> You're talking Maybe about John right. again. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. Okay. You, you do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. True. Um. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. True. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I need one more trigger part. One more. Damn it. Yeah, you don't have any trigger parts. You cunt monkey. Don't have any. I need a third trigger part. God damn it. Nurse Hawkins, where are you? Pippa Hawkins, where? Ah, you're over there. Damn it. Fight for food. Food fights you. <laughs> uh, really, bro? Pippa Hawkins. It's locked, all right. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Personal questions. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being It's used? all good, bro. So do I. I Everybody loves a good Soviet Russian joke. Or... No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you, Why do, you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead, or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? Hmm. You put a price on hope. This goes against everything you swore to uphold as a nurse. Report me then, Dr. Reed. Report the little nurse and no, keep on lying about here. the surgical <laughs> errors, the wrong dosages <laughs> and diagnostics that we all covered for the sake of our colleagues. Hmm. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first, even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. Hmm. They protect each other. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the <laughs> finest bloke. No, it's... One of my powers. To get by. Mesmerism. I get That's to... That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Truth serum. The hell out of people. <laughs> Truth serum the Goodbye, freak out of. He's a vampire. No, wrong. Wrong button. Um. Passives. <laughs> no, because you're not as blunt. You're not as open. Now me. Please come back later. That would be me. 
I need to find my office again. medical file? Yeah, and your point is? Alright, Clay Cox. Cure with treatment for fatigue. I need to make that. Workbench, workbench. Ah, here we go. Animals. Serums. Fatigue. Glass vial. Containing. Venerous, Tormentanus, Sodium, Oof, dead. Okay. William um, Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. <coughs> <coughs> Heck, okay. Um, bite. Ooh. Ha! You're the one who said it, not me. Ah, oh, shit. I need a thousand for claws? Jesus. 600 for that. Thousand for that. Spring. 500 for that. Three hundred for that. Three hundred for that. That's not cool. Medical bag. Three hundred for that. Science. Hold up. Now you can. <clears throat> Sitting right here on the edge, and it fell when it vibrated. Mm-hmm. Yep, I do not want to, do I want to reset? Eh. Spend zero EXP skill to reset. No. I'll confirm. <laughs> Time to stay here. Until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Is there anything in the locker? No. <laughs> <coughs> uh, once I get everything, you know. I don't know. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm kind so of a hard sorry. Thing I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Oh. 
What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. You have it's been okay. away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. It's all In good, France, bro. during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned mall behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Oakley dokely. Um literally 90% of the first half of this episode like the first half of this hour have been nothing but talking. Just absolute nothing but talking. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want a merchant. Bro, it's 19, like, what, 1918? No, yeah, 1915, bro. 1915. Am I even going the right way? I am. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> I like a detailed map. Wrong narrow. Oh no, I was at the right narrow street. Wait, I could have just come out the goddamn garden? God damn it! No, they used cert well, certain types of anesthesia were, were a thing, but not really widely accessible in 1915. This is during World War One, my boy. World War One. And anesthesia really wasn't a, a thing during World War One. They basically gave you something hard to bite down on and told you to try not to swallow your tongue while we're cutting your arm off. <laughs> yeah, local anesthesia and full body anesthesia weren't a thing. Glass vials, yada yada yada. Spare doors. Uh, walking down. Should I pull out? Huh? Who's here? Who the hell is burning fires in this place? Who the hell? Okay, more glass vials. That's really not gonna do me any good. Um. Oh, money. No chemicals. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I have a hand and a hand there. Locked, all right. God damn it. Who the feck locks a. Yeah. I don't have anything to admit. Yada, yada, yada. Ooh, I hear movement. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. 
as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And again, that would make me the Pope. Oh, whoa. Scowl. Blood spike, similar Dick. to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Friend, continue. Ooh, what's I here? cannot enter. God damn it. Shotgun shell and bullet? What the hell are you? No. Okay, unless you blood everywhere. Blood. Ooh. Don't be telling me to shut up, though. I do what I do and I say what I say. I am what I am because I am who I am. Ooh. Die. 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 Bite. <laughs> You're my little brother. I don't have to listen. I can't open that door either. Well, what the fuck? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, don't attack. Because there's nothing to attack. Is there anything in here? Tell you squat. Really? You don't have to tell me squat, huh? Well, you think you don't. <laughs> you wouldn't have be you wouldn't have been bringing up the subject if you didn't want to tell me something even on a subconscious level, little one. Now how the hell do I get in the goddamn basement? Hmm. No you can't. It's locked all right. Fuck the locked door. How do I get down there? I know I got to find the fucking key. Is that a gun? No, it's a dart. Why the hell is there a random ass dart? Oh no, that's a syringe. Okay, never mind. We're good. I'm silent. Deal with it. <laughs> sure. If you're silent, then yeah, you know, it is what it is. It is. It is. It is. I guess. Um, I find no key. Why no key? Where key? Hmm. Find useful medical ingredients in the old morgue. Find some sodium hypothate. Find the key to the morgue basement. Ah! This key will surely grant me access to How the many basement. times have I walked by this goddamn room? How many times have I walked in this damn room? Fucking cock monkey. Whoa! Where did you come from? No! Dad! Stop! Die! Now! Ow! I'm gonna run. Ow! I was going to run. God damn, we both can't hit shit. You're dumb and I'm an idiot. Let me auto phase. Ow! Ow! 
Oh yeah, I can't teabag. Why was I trying to teabag the fucking dead zombie? I mean, zombie. Vampire. Wow, I'm a mess. It's locked. I don't care. Break it down, you dumb fuck. There is no elevator. Oh. I mean, uh, um, hola. Nice haircut, though. <laughs> Why don't you take a long walk up short pier, Kevin? Oh, oh there is more of you. These scowls no, are the corpses and the husks of animals. They're not of the blood. Ow! Ow! God! Damn it! Ow! I have no energy! Fuck off! Oh! Fuck off! Come here! Thank you! Get off me! Dead fuck! Ooh, what did you drop? No, I'm sorry, bro. Ow, cunt! Ow, cunt! Get off! Gotta run! Gotta run! Away from him! Get off on me! God damn it! Have you eaten anything at all? Stop tearing at me! Kill all of you. And a coffee and some pop. And uh, well, that's the well, that's the problem. You need actual food, not just snacks, my boy. Doors close automatically. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Hatred? Hmm. Oh. What the fuck? Oh shit! Gotta go. Blood spike. Ah, 
blood spot. Oh. sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. It's cold. It's wag. It's wag? Wog? Really? Wog? You mean what? it is apparently <laughs> I'm being facetious sodium hypochlorite dangerous to administer but efficient in the proper dosage It's all good, bro. That's exactly what I said. D ah, no! Okay, we're good. Injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this.
God! People need to leave me. Okay. Yeah, A. Alex. You're talking about Alex or John again. God damn it. <sighs> anyway. Um, we might have to postpone our GTA shenanigans. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. More scowls. Another scowl. And uh, if you're not talking about either one of them, then I don't know. My controller is fully charged. Okay. Just double checking my controller charge. <sighs> Loading times. <laughs> Overall, this is an amazing, good, amazingly good game. What type of emoji is that? Oh, yeah. That's the look I'm giving you when you say you're not talking about Alex or John. <laughs> ah, shit, wrong button. There we go. Yes, I can just dash through the benches. Dash to the benches. Yeah, no. I know you are. Okay, hold on a second here. Um. The Anasis Social Circle. No. 
Um, local investigations. Track. Space bar. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. Revenge. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor arsehole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Hmm. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give That's a fuck it. what you Yeah, think. no, you were saying he was cute earlier. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? You can scroll up through the ugly. chat, and Especially it's there. Foxy, you can't erase it. Right. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, all like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? <laughs> what are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Oh, trust me, it's way up in the chat. You said Alex is cute on chat. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. Hmm. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most <laughs> of us. <laughs> no, there is you, I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day, I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. I'll leave you for you now. You can Mr. flip Cox. me off all you want, boyo. He's really pissed me off this time. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Oh, I am not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. There's nothing to prove that I am. Can I get up there? Please go back home. <laughs> Back here again? Cope with the epidemic bring back. No.
track. Can't flutter near people? Oh, that's some bull. But I can run. I'm so tired. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. No. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. There's nothing that you can do to change my mind. Now, where the hell am I going? Patient room. Who are Good you? evening, Nurse Hawkins. No, Good Hawkins. Evening, God Reed. damn it. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Come on. Dorothy Crane. Dorothy Crane. Really? Flutter. God damn it. Situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. I cannot enter. get there you don't mind if I search your pockets do you sir you won't need any of these anyway I'm not stealing from you mister I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you you see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. Hmm. It's locked, all right. Oh great, a long letter. Yeesh. Really? Where do I go? Dorothy Crane. Hold on a second here. Let me do this. Again. How did they fall? Succeeded. No. Dorothy Crane is a nurse. Pippa Hawking. Thelma Halcroft. Crane, crane, crane. Where the feck are you? Ah. Here. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. 
When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Ah, <sighs> a rat in the hospital. Okay. Now, what I need to do is track. I can't flutter. God damn it. I met him in New York. If only there were more of us, less resignation, and more determination. Please don't tell me this is Swansea. Hold up. I don't want that. Oh my god. Okay, local investigation. I have to go way down there to the docks? Oh you gay, okay. Weed. Let me flutter my way out that way. Yes. Can you hear me? Mike. I mean... Crush the leech, boys! What question? God damn it! What question? Because I just don't change my mind. We're no longer part of a circle of the circle of life and death and blah 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 mm. I died because I was trying to <sighs> I'm blaming my death on you not literally but you know what I mean I'm only picking on you come on load ya Fuck monkey. Is there any way to make this thing load quicker? Mash a bunch of buttons, I guess. Really? Map. Okay. Place marker. Steady, boys. We've got one of them here. Yeah, no, I ain't got time to deal with you. Shit. blood. I need rats. I need rats.
Didn't hit me. How the fuck? Combat in this game sucks. So much ass. Eh, there's nothing wrong with you liking Alex. Dead inside. It's way too... It's way too so on. It's way too so on. It's way too so on. Don't you mean it's way too... Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Soon. Whoo! <laughs> so on. What am I thinking? It's way too soon to determine if I like him or not. You never know. <laughs> Hundred and thirty seven chats. Wow. Aren't you a talkative little one, aren't you, bro? Please don't bring me back to the goddamn church. I mean not church, but the goddamn uh hospital. One hour forty eight minutes. One thirty eight. Well, whatever. I'm gonna bite you real quick. Let me flutter out of here. I need to get out of here. Whoa, right into you. Nope. Get off of me! God damn it! God damn motherfucking monkey hipping, cunning and cocksucking motherfucker! I'm tired of dying in this goddamn place. I must do this mission. Wait, I have a gun. Why am I not using my gun?
I log and I don't need a log and repeat. take out of my offhand. Logan. <laughs> How do I me ah, here we go. Flutter down this road. Whoa. Ow, okay, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. No, bad, no. No bad, bad. Out of here. Off of me. No, get out from behind me. Damn it. Oh, lucky you. Subway. Oh, God. Hey, Kev. Wow. What's for lunch? Go check. I mean, what, did your mom have anything for, like, snacks and shit? Well, want to go raid the fridge? You want to go raid the fridge? I said, do you want to go raid the fridge? Yes. I need to do this real quick. Yana, 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 yana. Oh, right here. Right here. Off. Oh, wow. Okay, no. Blood. Yeah, I... 
Come on. Heal. 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 Move. Heal. No. Out of the way. God damn it. You know what? Sorry, I'm going to yeet this broadcast out because I'm done. I am just done. <sighs> Goodbye. So long. Have you listened? And until we meet.